Newton, first off, you guys played Lloyd Minister last night. How was that? Lloyd, Lloyd Minister, we'd been there, I think, two, three years ago for a, an outdoor thing in the summer. But last night was kind of a strange show. It started out a little weird, but it got really good at the end because it was a, kind of like a fundraiser, yeah. very uh, dressed up kind of a fair, lots of suits and stuff. But after they got loosened up, everybody had a great time. You guys tour a lot of small towns in Canada. Would it be fair to say you're a small town touring band? I would. Well, the thing with Canada, it's a huge country, but there aren't that many large urban centers. So you can only play them so many times. But there's a lot of smaller towns that really is, is our bread and butter because these are the people that keep us going and keep us on the map. And uh, we love playing these, these smaller secondary markets. It's, there's some great, great fans out there. Last year, inadvertently, I had tickets to an Andy Kim Christmas show in Toronto, Ontario at the Phoenix Concert Theatre. It was kind of an interesting experience. Tell me a little bit about how you guys got involved with that. Well, he's been doing this thing for years, I guess, and I was, I was unaware of it because I live in the States, but he just... Um, we got asked, simple as that, he's putting it together and, and it just came through our agency and uh, we we're more than happy to do it and, and what, a, what a great thing it was. Now I gotta ask, are you an NHL fan? I, I am, yeah, I got both my kids play hockey, I'm, I'm down at the rink like three, four times a week with them. Now the big word right now is lockout. It's, it's not a good thing, and, and my daughter especially, she's 11 years old, and she loves watching hockey, and she's kind of bumming now that it's not, it's not on TV. It's a real drag, and yeah. people in Canada got to be, gotta be losing their minds. A couple listeners over on Facebook giving their love for Honeymoon Suites. One of them asking if they'll be hearing some new stuff tonight. How's the set list shaping up to look like? It's going to be... Um, it's going to be all the hits, of course, all the best music, the best songs from all the earlier albums, and we might um, we might throw a new song in here and there as well. It's a great set. Is the potential there for new music from Honeymoon Suite in the future? You know, we never say never, and Johnny and I have actually started writing in the last month. We've got hmm. an opportunity to maybe record another album this year, so the first thing John and I have to do is start writing songs, and that's where we're at right now. We play a lot of the new rock here at the Rig. Are you into the newer rock? What do you think? What are some bands you're interested in? What's good? There's, you know, there's a lot of really good music out out right now. There's, there's some great new bands. There's a band called Monsters and of uh, Monsters and Men, I think, They're yep. from Iceland. That's yep. a great band. My son loves Coldplay. I, I love them, and I love the last Van Halen record. Yeah. And uh, I'm sort of, you know, I like a lot of the new country stuff as well. Has the internet changed the way you guys operate as a band? Hell yeah, it's, it's, it's changed the way the whole world operates, but for music, everything is so instant now. Anything you need to hear or you need to know is right there. It's, it's been a hindrance, but it's also, in terms of promoting your band, it's been an amazing thing. You can, you can really use it to your advantage. Honeymoon Suite tonight, Eagle River Casino in Travel Plaza right here in White Court. Set kicks off at 9 o'clock, so make sure you head on down for that. Thanks to Derry for... Uh, chatting with us this afternoon. You can get the full interview on our website, www.therig.ca.